She crab soup is my all time favorite soup and today I'm gonna show you how to make it. Meet me in the kitchen, let's make it happen. For those of you that don't know, I'm out here on the East Coast where she crab soup is super popular. But if you've never had it, today is your lucky day. I'm gonna show you exactly how to make it. It actually originated in Charleston, South Carolina. It gets its name from the use of female blue crabs, which are very common on the East Coast. The chefs that created the recipe would use the crab roe, which is the crab eggs, hence the name she crab soup because it's coming from the female crab. Crab roe is really hard to find, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make it with ingredients that are easy to find at your local grocery store. So today we're not necessarily using these for the soup, but I just wanted to show you guys what traditionally is used. We are gonna show you a quick recipe for blue crabs if you're lucky enough to come across some. Sorry, little guy. So once your water comes to a boil, I'm gonna use some crab seasoning or crab boil. You could just use Old Bay as well. Just read the package, use, you know, follow the instructions on the package. Get in there and give that a good mix. That way the, the crab is getting flavored as they're boiling. Sorry, buddies. Oh no! Drop them on in the hot tub. Again, 15, 20 minutes. You'll know they're done when they turn a nice bright orange color. Oh, oh, we got a fighter. We got a fighter. And then cover that with a lid. Again, 15, 20 minutes. The foundation or thickening agent for this soup is what's called a roux, which is a combination of butter and flour. So getting the party started with that half a stick of butter. All right, so once your butter's melted, we're going in with our grated onion and celery. I like to grate my onion and celery for this recipe and for a lot of soup recipes. That way the veggies kind of emulsify into the soup and you're not left with big chunks of celery in your she crab soup. If you don't want to go with the cheese grater method, you could also uh, puree this. So use a Nutribullet or a blender or something like that. Puree it, you still get the flavor. Same exact thing happens. Once that cooks down and softens a bit, we're gonna go in with some garlic. All right, so we're going in with about a tablespoon of garlic. You can use fresh garlic, minced garlic, or garlic paste, whatever is easier. We're gonna give that a mix to combine, and then we're going in with my secret ingredient, is this better than bouillon lobster bait. Now this stuff is absolutely packed with concentrated seafood flavor, which is gonna help your soup. It's also packed with sodium, so go light on your other seasonings that you're using here. Immediately your house is smelling good with that garlic and the onion, the celery, the lobster base. Next up we're going with four tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Again, that's going to act as the thickening agent, forming a paste or a roux. Make sure you have a nice thick soup on your hands. You just want to cook that for a minute or two to cook the raw flour off. Now once you've done that, we're going in with our chicken stock, veggie stock, whatever you got. We'll get the job done. Seafood stock obviously would work too. We just wanna bring that up to a boil, break out the whisk, mix to combine, break all of that paste up. So we got the roux in there, that's the thickening agent. We got the broth. Now we're going in with two cups of heavy cream and one cup of half and half. This is a cream-based soup. So you just wanna whisk that in, pour it in slowly, and bring that up to a simmer. All right guys, so there's a few ingredients that are absolutely critical when you're making she crab soup. We already talked about the crab. The next one is Old Bay seasoning. And last but not least, sherry wine. Now, when I first started making this, I would go with this option, which is cheap. It's about five bucks. You can find it at basically any grocery store. It gets the job done. But if you wanna elevate the flavor, you gotta go dry sack sherry. This stuff is delicious. It has a very unique flavor, specific to she crab soup and it's only about 15 to 18 bucks, so you're not really breaking the bank. All right, so after about 15 minutes of simmering, we're going in with a half cup of our dry sack sherry wine. Again, this is gonna kick the flavor up tremendously. For those of you with the little ones out there, this isn't gonna be anything that you gotta worry about in terms of alcohol content. The alcohol is gonna cook off. Very safe for kids to eat. Next up, we're gonna start to season it. So again, we got some pretty high sodium content in there with the Better Than Bouillon, so we're gonna go a little bit lighter on the seasoning. Luckily for us, Old Bay is not that crazy on the sodium, only 140 40 milligrams per serving. So we're gonna add that to the party. The next guest to arrive to the flavor party is the hot sauce and the worst word in the world sauce. About a teaspoon or two of each. Use whatever your favorite hot sauce is. Mine's Texas Pete, even though my guy's not from Texas. But it's fitting because he's from Car uh, North Carolina, apparently, which is close to South Carolina where this recipe originated. Give that a mix to combine. Then we're going to throw two bay leaves in there and let that simmer for about 10, 15 minutes. Thank you, sir. There we go. 
gonna be good. All right, so while your new favorite soup simmers away for about 15 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and prep our garlic bread. For that, you wanna break out a baguette and a serrated blade knife like this one right here. We're gonna slice it on a bias or at an angle to get these long pieces of bread. Add your bread to a skillet with some melted butter because butter makes everything better until it's nice and golden brown and toasted like you see right here. And then just for a little added flavor, we're gonna hit that with a simple garlic butter and herb seasoning. Feel free to use whatever you like, but this bread is gonna go fantastic with your she crab soup. All right, so for those of you guys that can't find fresh blue crabs where you live, you can find jumbo lump or regular lump crab meat. Typically you can find it at Costco, it's probably the most common place to find it, or Wegmans if you have one of those near you. Most grocery stores these days sell it in the seafood counter, so you can use that in place of this. Either way, you're in for a delicious soup. All right, you can't have sheet crab soup without the crab, right? So in goes one and a half pounds of lump crab meat. I like to reserve a little bit for plating. I'll show you guys that technique here in a little bit. But we gotta get the crab in there. No flavor left behind. Allow that to simmer for a few minutes. The crab is gonna add some natural sweetness. It's gonna be a phenomenal soup. Those of you guys that haven't tried this before, you're in for a treat. If you have tried it before, let me know in the comments what you think about she crab soup. As always guys, you wanna taste as you go, adjust the flavor to your preference. We're gonna add some final seasoning to the soup and then it'll be time to plate this up. All right guys, it's finally time to plate this up. We're gonna add it to a soup bowl. I like to add a mound of lump crab meat to the middle, a few dots of hot sauce, a little Old Bay, and some chive. And this is the part where I say, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me guys, looking good. The only thing left to do is dig in for a taste test, but before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. That should be illegal. Glad it's not though. What did I say I was gonna say also? Oh, the part about it being, okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Chefs would use the, I keep wanting to say salmon row. The recipe gets its name from the use of the, uh oh. It's a fight. All right guys, so there's a few things that are critical when making she crab soup. A few ingredients. Oh, shit, my bad. I messed it up anyway. Tell me when I'm good. Okay, good. Put this. Damn, I'm an alcoholic, bro. It smells good? As soon as I open the top, I was just like. Say that one more time for the record. No. <laughs> I was rolling this mouth. Ready? It's gonna be good. 